there's a bit of a buzz going on around here. And I wanted to find out more, being naturally curious and quite nosy. Apparently in the corner of this biodynamic farm, there's a factory that works 24 seven. It's a miniature factory and people walk past not knowing anything about it. I don't know anything about it either, but I wanna find out more. So I know a man who does. I'm gonna introduce you to Tim. Let's go and find him. Hi Tim. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for giving up your time today to show us this miniature factory. Now I understand that we've got to use some protective equipment in order to go and look at the factory. Is that true? It's true. It and is I got true. one here. Fantastic. Now I think as soon as the audience see the protective equipment, that they're going to guess what it is, what sort of factory we're going to have a look at. So should we reveal? Ta-da! That's right, we're going to have a look at a beehive. It is one of the most efficient miniature factories in existence on the planet. And we're going to show you inside one. Come with us. Tim's brought his smoker with us. Tim, can you tell us what you're doing and why you use a smoker? Sure. Well, I use some cardboard uh, to create some cool smoke, which doesn't hurt the bees. And uh, we just puff some smoke on areas where we move frames and lids around so they don't get squashed. And okay. So I'm giving them a little uh, warning. Okay. Up, so they know we're coming. <laughs> See a few investigators. Great. So. Oh, there's wait. some foragers coming in. Yeah, so they will now call um, the foragers back. Okay. Um, because they, they, they know that we are coming. Oh, wow. Oh, there's some look inside the top there. Yeah. And they've made all of that themselves. They have, yes. That's incredible. It's made of wax, is it? It is. That the is wax, amazing. They, they uh, have special glands where they use to sweat wax. And then with the Gosh. wax, they, they built this amazing... It's course. incredible. This this would be the foundation, which is just a just a flat sheet of wax for the um, bees and to build on. And the only reason we use this is um, when when we harvest the honey, the honey gets uh, spun, the the frames get spun. Okay. And um, if oh. it wasn't for the for the um, foundations, yes. um, the spinning would just uh, um, the wax would come as well. Yeah, would it? everything would just fly oh, out. So that. Uh, keeps the wax um, separate from the honey. Separate from the That's honey. such a good idea. So when you're spinning it, it's the centrifugal forces that force the honey away from exactly, the wax. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's so, really clever. So they store the honey there. Yeah. So first they build um, um, the, the comb with the wax, and then they fill each one with honey. I can see the honey glistening inside. Yes, that's it. And, and they've then, covered some. And then and then um, each cell gets yeah. capped with some wax. Gosh, so that's wax as well. So the yes. entire frame around the honey is made of the wax that the bees gather. Exactly. Let's have a look in the in the uh, hive box. Okay. Can... And did you say this is where the, we would find the queen? If you were able uh, to see yes. Her? yes. Oh, fantastic. So we know if the queen is there even without seeing the queen by um, looking at the, at the offspring. Right. What are you looking for then in the offspring to tell that the queen is there um, in residence? We check if there, if there is um, eggs. Okay. If there's, yeah, generally brood. If there's. Um... So there's no flag like at Buckingham Palace then. <laughs> oh, wow. There are hundreds and thousands of bees. So they keep a constant temperature in the beehive. That's why I'm going to cover the areas up which we. Um, we're not looking okay. at. Okay. So here we've got the same structures as in the honey, but you were saying that they're not always used just for honey. Is that no. right? It's used for uh, honey, for pollen, and for the brood, for the queen to lay her eggs. So there'll be eggs inside inside those hexagonal yes. columns. Exactly. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go in there. You don't want any bees to be harmed in the filming of this at all. Oh, the noise! Listen to that! Now, Tim, what I'm noticing is there's one or two that are a lot bigger than the others. Why is that? This uh, are the drones. 
are the males. They are the males. Oh, yes. I see. Now I understand that the work is all done by the females, and the males kind of just hang about a bit. Is that right? That's right. They're just <laughs> waiting Easy their turn to um, meet the queen in person. Right. On her flight. Okay. But uh, um, yeah, you can see here. Um, there's there's some bees just about to hatch <gasps> there. Uh, the covers. The covers are coming yeah. off. Yes. And do so they, they do that with their jaws or do they get help? Yeah, they, no, they don't get help. If they don't manage to get out themselves, yeah. then uh, they're left to on their own device. But wow. um, So they, they eat themselves out. Um, so at the top of the frame, yeah. you can see the honey being stored. And uh, further down at the bottom, yeah. this is where, the, where you find some brood. Right, you can definitely tell the difference, can't you? Yeah. I see what you mean now. It's quite easy to see where the honey is and where the, the egg capsules are. Wow. And there's a lot of action going on. There's a lot of bees with the bottoms in the air here, looking like they're doing something in yeah. these... In they these are gorging cells. on the... Either they're gorging on the honey or they, they are... Um, because we're, we're coming in with a smoke. Right. Um, uh, or they, they are uh, looking after the offspring. Right. So there's like nursemaids in there as yes, well. Yes. It sounds like there's lots of different jobs that go on. It seems like there's... No, there's one, one hatching. You can just see the head poking out. Oh, yes! Uh, two. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's heads pop up and have a look. Look at it. Um, if you look down there... An the empty house? Um, this is... Um, there's some larvae, so eggs that have hatched, which get um, fat, the raw jelly, and then after... So are they the larvae in there at the moment that you can see? So, because uh, the cap has been taken off those ones, hasn't it? Well, it hasn't been put on yet. Oh, is that what it yes. is? I see. So the queen's gone round, she's laid her egg, the exactly. grub has hatched from the egg, and now it's waiting to be sealed up, is it? Exactly. So they get fat for... Uh, a few days and then um, and then uh, they get then they get capped with wax okay and they turn into bees and depending on what they've been fed will have a difference on what they become what their job will be is exactly. that correct um, that's the difference between a bee and a queen so the queen and a uh, new queen will be fed enormous amounts of uh, royal jelly and by the time um, the, the larvae gets um, sealed, um, she, the, the larvae will swim in the royal jelly, whereas the worker bees get fed much less okay. of that same. It is an absolute hive of activity. I know exactly what they mean by that now. It is just so busy. There is nobody who doesn't really have a job to do. OK, the drones are walking around. But they end up going mating with the queen. Still looking out for the queen. Yes, I've got my eyes peeled. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but well, I'm basing you your spotter, description. You'd know. You'd know instantly. You know. So the queen, is she followed around by her entourage, a bit like human queens? She is, yeah. Okay, so Even she, though she she isn't she isn't exactly like the human queen. She, some some people would um, say that she's more a slave of the of the hive rather than the queen, which is she is a bit of both really. How many eggs a, a day does she? Does she, um, lay? Do she, you know? she can lie up to an egg in under a minute, 24 hours oh a day. Goodness. So bees don't sleep then. I've got to ask you as well about the mating process of the drones. Sure. It's pretty uh, brutal for the males, isn't it? It is. Process. Do you want to just run through what happens? Um, so if you uh, have a virgin queen or a queen that ran out of sperm, they will go on what is called a mating flight. So she will, she will uh, go out for a flight and all the drones will gather around the hive waiting for her to start a flight and once she starts flying um, they will follow her and try to have a go mating with her once they 
still gotta go. Um, once a drone will mate with a queen and he is finished, um, the um, part of his body part explodes. Is that correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. And I think you can when guess he, what when, part of the body yeah. I'm referring to, of course. So um, once a queen received the sperm from the drone, the drone will pull out the. Um, testicles and penis will be ripped off and left in the queen left in the queen and, and he just drone. falls down to earth dead dead what a way to go right so the poor old drones whilst they're sitting in here not helping they actually do we'll give them their due they do have a bit of a, a an unusually sad life but a purpose absolutely very important purpose so here you can see some pollen Yes. That's uh, what is that it's, it's called. Um, they produce what is called uh, bee bread, which is basically pollen um, um, being fermented on the in the hive. Bee bread. And who gets fed the bee bread? I'm guessing the the larvae. Yes. And do the bees themselves eat the bee bread at all, or is it just basically honey I, that they? Um, I, th I think the young bees. So the bees can actually produce loads of things. They can produce bee bread. They can produce nectar. They can produce beeswax. They can produce propolis. And they can produce royal jelly. That's incredible. They can produce all those things just from flowers. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm.